Electric vehicles are the latest climate change fashion, except that a Norwegian shipping company has banned electric, hybrid and hydrogen cars from its ferries. After a risk analysis, it was concluded that the risk to the safety of the shipping fleet was too significant. If an electric vehicle catches fire, they said, the fire can no longer be extinguished. And they cited last February, a ship with e-vehicles on board, the vehicles caught fire, the fire couldn't be extinguished, the ship sank. An improperly disconnected car battery, that's what the NTSB says sparked a massive fire that caused an explosion aboard a car carrier ship at Blunt Island last year, injuring multiple firefighters. An electric vehicle is thought to have started a fire on board a cargo ship carrying thousands of cars. One crew member was killed and others injured. And that's what happened recently at Sydney Airport which is with these lithium ion batteries. What we've got is the casing for a fully electric vehicle, uh, heavily impacted by fire. That does appear to be the area of origin. Nightmare for a local family. They say an electric car sparked this fire that destroyed their home. Four people died from this fire at an e-bike repair shop. Fire gets into the battery pack. Uh, they do something which is called thermal runaway. And if it gets into the battery pack, it takes up to 40 times more water than an average car fire. Even when the immediate threat is put out, Austin Fire says there's still the potential for a fire to reignite with an electric vehicle. A Tesla in Scottsdale catches on fire, not once, but twice. So, has Bowen presented us with a risk analysis in relation to purchasing, driving, charging electric vehicles and disposing of the batteries? Nothing. In the first six months of this year, there has been a 20% increase in lithium battery related fires in New South Wales. We are seeing a, a, a lot more incidents in and around lithium ion batteries. The cause of the fire was a lithium ion battery that had failed. With the suspected cause, a lithium battery powered e-scooter that was being charged. The different marks on the wall is where the battery is actually exploded. Now these batteries are sometimes thrown into rubbish bins instead of being disposed of safely. It was an explosion and it was involving expired lithium chips. Uh, the process they were using was uh, putting these chips in uh, a bucket and, and putting some water in the bucket to actually make an oxidisation process occur. The Fire and Rescue New South Wales Acting Deputy Commissioner of Field Operations, Trent Curtin, has said that firefighters were responding to an average of more than three battery fires a week from in-home charging issues or incorrect disposal. I mean, surely to good as know-alls like Bowen should be fully informing users of electric vehicles as to where the risks lie. He won't do that because he's ideologically committed to getting rid of petrol-fired cars and forcing us into electric vehicles. Now is the time for the conversation on how we increase the uptake of electric and low emissions vehicles. Mind you, he doesn't tell us where the electricity is going to come from, nor the risk. Now, ignorance can sometimes be forgiven. Arrogance from people like Bowen can't be. These people, I've told you over and over again, are dangerous.